YouTube, how you doing? This is Puck. Today I want to show you a brand new operating system. As I promised, I removed Windows 8.1 from the tablet. It's the same one, the Fuse, Sonic Viewpad 10. And last night I installed a great Linux operating system on it. And it's called Debian. Ever heard of Debian? Well, Debian has these great packages, yo. And this thing, it really works amazing amazing and um, yeah I'm gonna give you a look at the operating system and I'm gonna show you where you can download it and this also runs uh, on your uh, on your tablet on your computer on your um, laptop you know this is a professional operating system by Linux and I'm gonna show you how you can get it and how to install it it's not so hard most of the stuff goes automatically you can download a small ISO file from 200 and something megabytes and when you create a bootable ISO USB when you create a bootable USB stick from that file that you downloaded you must do that with power ISO won't work with UNET booting and then you boot up and then the rest will go automatically it will also download all the packages it's a net install and then after a while you know your system will reboot and you will have a Debian Linux installed on the system so um, let's get into the system and let's take a look at what we can do with this I also have a cover here for her so you know it has a built-in keyboard by the way there is a built-in keyboard and you can use that so that is also really cool but still i also like my little cover here you can buy these covers really cheap and uh, these days you know you can build your own little netbook from a tablet this is a 10 inch tablet a very good one so let's see how debian runs on this baby first of all let's take a look at the desktop it's the GNOME desktop so that will give you a very beautiful uh, layout you all know the GNOME desktop if you don't know the GNOME desktop you must take a look at it it's uh, it's a desktop that will give you um, um, yeah a very touchy um, how you call it uh, experience and up here you have all the sections that will bring you to the various stuff that is installed on this machine there are also some games um, yeah I can say that uh, it all looks uh, really nice you know it's no big deal it runs from out of the box uh, what you must do is just uh, yeah download the ISO file as I said and then you know install it via a bootable USB stick created with power ISO that's all you know um, if you don't know how to do that you should check out my my video how to do that of course you can also play games like solitaire um, you can put it to full screen and you will have a great experience by you know just moving things around and you know um, oops you know you can do all these things it's really really cool um, no big deal though um, the program is free and you can download it uh, just uh, for personal use or maybe if you have an office or so you can also buy the packages they also sell a complete package they have computers running Debian so yo this is a kind of Apple operating system but if you want uh, the normal desktop you must go for the KDA version or the LXDE version you can also download those and uh, well yo all I can say Debian great job uh, thank you very much for this uh, very nice operating system and at Debian or uh, you can find the CD images and here you can see the various uh, CD images that you can download and uh, this was the GNOME desktop that you just saw this one here but I'm now going for the KDA you see and I'm also downloading the X uh, the LXDE these are for uh, yeah all the laptops you know well all the laptops I still have some old laptops and I want them all to run Debian because I'm gonna test out Debian the common time so if you want to do this, this as well please go to debian.org and download your distribution 
Well guys, that's about it. In the description you will find the direct link to download this. And in my next video, because I'm also installing the desktop version, uh, then I'm gonna install the desktop version on this thing. Because, uh, yeah, I think this is a little bit too much for me. I just wanted the normal desktop version. And the coolest thing of the desktop version is that it also support touchscreen so all your touchscreen uh, tablet users out there x86 tablet users you can do this so this does not run on a cheap android tablet you need a good tablet for this something that can run windows 7 if you have one you can try this and uh, you know i would say lots of fun with your uh, beautiful new uh, linux system and uh, keep supporting the guys of debian till my next video bye